The first thing you want to do is start with clean skin. Wash and rinse it twice. Make sure all that dirt and oil, makeup, whatever comes from the day is gone. Okay? Then what you want to do is um, exfoliate the area gently. That means remove the dead skin. You can use a washcloth, you can use a sponge, you can use a scrub that you purchase, and you want to exfoliate the area. Then what you want to do, now if you get out of the shower, out of a steamy shower, that's perfect because that opens up the pores, that softens the tissues, but if not, you can also use a warm washcloth. So I'm going to let my model do that. Just apply a warm washcloth right up here and hold it there. There you go. You want to hold it on there for as long as the towel stays warm, but at least a minute. Make sure that you have sanitary conditions. By that, I mean have a clean face, clean washcloth, clean hands. Take a couple of tissues, wrap them around your index fingers. You can also use uh, two Q-tips, but I prefer the tissues. They're much easier and you're in more control. Okay, so let that go. Then what you're going to do is go to the pimple. You want your fingers to stay like this, not pointing towards each other. You can hurt the skin. You can scar the pore by doing that. You want to pull the skin tight, then push it together, and you just want to jiggle it a little bit like that. Switch sides. Squeeze it gently. Don't force it. If it's not ready, it's not ready. If you force it out, then you can scar the pore and leave um, a nice looking pit right there on your forehead. So be careful and avoid that. You want to squeeze it until all that infectious pus comes out and a little bit of clean blood is there, no clear fluid. And that ensures that all of the infection is gone. After that, maybe dab a little bit of some astringent on that area alone. That kills any leftover bacteria apply an oil-free moisturizer to protect it from bacteria and you're good to go.